Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Pokemon Trainer's Choice Rayquaza. This is a part of a new series that the Pokemon Tomi Takara series is doing. It has all of the legendary Pokemon of uh, the Hoenn region. And then they've also got a Lugia, or Lugia, however you want to pronounce it, but no Ho-Ho. So I got Rayquaza with me now, but I will definitely be doing the other ones, the other legendary Pokemon that they've released so far. Hopefully they continue this trend because these are pretty freaking awesome. Um, the other ones I got are Groudon and Kyogre, so keep a lookout for those. But for now, let's just open this one up, eh? So here's Rayquaza out of the package, and we see a really nice design going on here. It's definitely very accurate to the actual Pokemon, which it should be. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but I gotta throw it out there because there are times when they're not very accurate. Um, he's got a very nice design. I like the sculpt overall. He's got his little buck teeth there. Definitely very, very cool figure. I'm not going to go on forever reviewing this. Uh, it's just more of just a sneak peek of what you're getting and whether or not I'm satisfied with it. And hopefully that'll tell you whether or not if you're going to be satisfied with it. I really do like the paint overall. They did a good job. Not a lot of paint mishaps. Everything looks pretty good. And uh, this is supposed to be a more of a... Uh, what do you call it? I guess an elite series compared to what Tomy has released before. They're mostly found at Toys R Us, but I'm pretty sure you can find them other places. I thought at first that they were a Toys R Us exclusive, but I know I've seen Trainer Choice figures at Walmart before of like the old series. And I'm not sure what the Trainer's One Choice means because it's obviously not a first series because I've seen these released before. So there's a lot of things I don't really truly understand about what the whole series is, but I know that it is uh, definitely a step up from the other figures. And uh, I have done my research. I have tried to figure out what the series is by looking up online, but I didn't find much information, so I did try. There is articulated pieces on here. His arms are articulated, but all they do is swivel. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, no head articulation. Nothing moves on his body, but everything looks really well done. The paint looks great. And uh, I'm always looking really closely at the figures before I buy them because uh, I don't want the ones with the messy paint. So I, I uh, insist that you all do the same. Let's do a quick size comparison. So here's Rayquaza scaled to some other figures I have. In the back we got a D-Arts Blastoise. We got a 3 to 4 inch Mega Venusaur, which I'm pretty sure is the scale they were releasing these Mega uh, Pokemon at. And I think they're referring to these as Legendary Scale. Um, and they are a bit bigger than the 3 and 4 inch scale Tomi Takara figures we were getting before. And then here is a quote unquote normal size Tomi Takara figure. Um, Tomi does not scale their figures. There's no uh, real life scale. I mean, Venusaur and Rayquaza, I'm pretty sure Rayquaza is much bigger than, a, and of course, Venusaur should be much bigger than Charmander. So it's, they're not really to scale, but they are getting bigger. They all used to be really small. I mean, before we get a Venusaur the size of Charmander. So he is doing a little bit of scaling, but nothing is actually to scale. We're just getting bigger figures. I think that's the best I can explain that. Um, lastly, he does come with a little card here, and it tells you basically how big he is. He's 23 feet long and 455 pounds. So, yeah, he's he should be bigger or around the same size as Blastoise if they were to scale, but like I mentioned, they are not to scale, and then he's 7 meters tall, or 25 feet tall. Now, they do meters and kegs and everything. He's Dragonfly type, and they got a little picture on the back, and uh, I think it says his name in different languages and stuff like that, so they all come with these little cards. But I really like this figure. It's really neat. Uh, the only place I've found it so far is Toys R Us. It might be available on Amazon. Couldn't tell you. And one more little thing. If you've seen my other reviews of like Swampert Pack and everything, they come with these pretty cool reflective bases. I think that's mostly for um, like marketing purposes to shine light on the figure, I guess. I'm sure there's some kind of science behind it. But I, just, I think these are pretty cool. I'll probably display my figures on them. Hi. Um... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, like I said before, I will be doing the other Legendary Scale figures, so stay tuned and watch those. Thanks. Peace out.